January 3rd. Yes, I still have my Christmas tree. It's only a few days left till Ukrainian Christmas. And this tree absolutely loved by my cat Shadow. Oh yes, that's his favorite place to sleep. Light doesn't bother him. Sometimes he pull in the string of beads or those sparklers, but not too bad this year. Now, what do I have on my table? First, <laughs> let me say hello and welcome to my channel, everyone. Welcome everyone, my returning subscribers, love you all. Welcome all visitors, maybe you just uh, stopped by, maybe you accidentally found my channel. Consider to subscribe. I record videos every single day on this channel. I have some other channels as well. Hit the button and subscribe. We are slowly approaching to 21,000 subscribers. Can we get that a uh, little? Uh, kind of a little bit push to hit 21 that would be amazing thank you so much for your love and support I had a request uh, to do video as I did of diamond painting I did uh, as you can see a box in here there is some other stuff on the back up there and it's piled up on the table so I did video about diamond painting, everything you need to know, what's good, what's bad, uh, my opinion, and I thought that was a great video. I have three parts of that video, looks like video number one the most popular, or maybe nobody survived to video number two and three, <laughs> fall asleep. Uh, today I hope this will be just a one video, maybe a long one, but if it's too long then I will have to split to couple of videos. Uh, now everything you need to know about cross stitch, uh, what is good and I like by this uh, year whatever I have purchased or got for review from other company, I will tell you everything honest. But first let me tell you because Somebody going to ask me where did I get this tablecloth? It's very very pretty And it's actually it's like a two layers if I can show you if you wish this one kind of separated This just a pink and this is layers and create holographic It's from Walmart from the party section where you buy everything for the birthdays and celebrations uh, usually they have them in few different colors. I did purchase last year or even maybe two years ago. So uh, do they have up there this tablecloth? I don't know, but it's super, super long. It's going to like wear it down. And even if you cut in half, it's still going to have a good two chunks of tablecloth. Even good to have like a, to put on a wall. It would be good a background to hide all your, maybe you shooting video and like to face. Uh, people camera and put this over your closet so you don't see nothing what's going on behind you and I think it's a good so I decided to not just to have a bare table because usually when I have lots of stuff on my table I'm just doing like no uh, photo paper or something like on my table just a bare wood today I decided to go pinky and sparkly so we will start where we start the most important thing probably I would say that would be frames and I have some that's why I brought this box in here just to show you uh, the frames styles I'm not going to show you like my cross stitch whips whatever because you already saw them and if you did not see I will link it up the video where I show my all whips of cross stitch and also today will be um, a few things that I would love to start this year from cross stitch something new and I will show you everything about it. Now let me start. I will take some off the table so we have more room and let's get started. It's never comfortable to show this frame because it's kind of hard to get me position what I want to show you but I'm just gonna slowly show you right in here. Try to not to move because my floor in here is ridiculously squeaky. So what do we have in here this frame? Um, this frame I would say it's not bad if you can tie it up those bolts and nuts. Uh, this part you can put in here your um, 
like put on a magnet for example do I have in here no this is just a thread that I'm stitching you can put magnet in here uh, you can put your um, pattern if you're doing a um, counted cross stitch of course in here on the side this thing is moving you can put whatever direction you need it's not tied up tight right now but I have to say that this bolts in here untighten so kind of fast and to tie this piece uh, together a little bit like tight when you tighten in here it just keep turning and turning because you need another tool to hold this bolt in here you can see right there with some screwdriver in order to tie it up so this is very not comfortable I have to say but it's better how would we say in Ukraine there is no fish in the river even uh, crawfish is fish you know stuff like that uh, something but I like that this you can see it's not uh, tight enough right now so let's keep moving down because I need to adjust this bolt uh, in here we have a little bit you can put your scissors right in here and they stay in on a little tiny legs those legs are very flat like the whole system in here is shaking you can see it's not very sturdy but it's better than nothing I have to say so this one I would say like I don't like don't like but I just don't have a stand that it's better kind of at this moment for the big picture if you want to create like this is my Christmas stocking obviously didn't touch this year it's like almost the whole stocking inside uh, fit on this frame and if I can show you from behind see this is just a, a little bit folded in here which is very easy in here I can do this very quickly if I would do that uh, so I would say this one is supposed to be for the table stand or maybe if you have like a short coffee table and then you sit on a sofa and this is kind of go towards me so I tried I think maybe once cross stitch on camera but you know what I think I did mistake if I can keep this part on my desk where I usually do my cross stitch what I need to do I need to move this bar I need to move lower because we have in here you see how many uh, those holes you can put on any of those holes because you basically adjust and only that is on the top I know it's not comfortable to watch because I'm moving camera it's hard to get when it's standing straight and I don't want to be in a camera today um, so I just going to move this part a little bit lower so that way my canvas in here will be sticking out further to me off my desk and maybe not going to be like very high it will be more comfortable to, for me to work on so maybe uh, one of the day I will try again to readjust maybe that's why I was kind of not super comfortable and my shoulder was kind of sore because I have to keep my hands uh, shoulder kind of high but I have to say that this um, this exactly um, frame not bad at all so my next frame that I would say is not bad it's this one let me show you which one I will put right in front of this one so we have a two of this frame and I need to actually put together give me a second two very similar frames but one is very not comfortable the other one could be okay so if I would choose from this two I would choose this one not this one and here's why so we have this frame let me put this aside for now it's adjustable you can you screw in in here the base then you unscrew here to make this pole higher or lower to your liking uh, by putting in here on the top here's where you unscrew and tear apart if you want to this piece in here is the way you want to adjust yourself you just tie it up in here the sides whatever angle you want it but as you can see you can't really get an angle too much because how can you get in here this part is on your way if you stitch in somewhere maybe on a top it's uh, kind of 
not comfortable it's far away uh, what I have a problem with uh, if I want to stitch kind of straight let's say you put this piece kind of um, uh, like you can sit on it and keep it like between your legs to sit on it or under your leg maybe you want to stitch like a sideway and turn this this way to you towards you you can move as much as you want but since you turn the screws is untightened and it just keep loosening up you have to keep tighten up all the time over and over so the most uncomfortable for me was when I try to stitch it just when I go one hand like pull out my thread I always can hit this bars because it's it's not enough uh, room and it's like a hold in them like it's only comfortable to work on the very edge but not in the middle because you keep hitting your arm on this little pole that is literally split in your canvas in the middle you see that on the other hand this the other frame kind of almost same system same thing you screw to the bottom uh, this peg you unscrew to move this part higher or lower and then you have adjustment in here to open up this device to actually put your hoop and I have in here a hoop but uh, I do have a canvas on it this is the wooden hoop that came with this um, frame so if I put in here okay and then I tie it up in here now as you can see I have a much more room in here to stitch I can swing my needle in here nothing on my way the only way this one is stay um, straight and I wish it would be like a little bit more you can crank it towards you but it doesn't work like that so after a while you stitch you kind of start feeling your neck a little bit but if you want to crank it and work uh, like a crank it, you have to put this pedal sideways like this okay and then you can if um, crank it up this way sideways so it's kind of comfortable if you work just with one hand if you want to do with two hands uh, to swing I don't know so uh, this one I kind of like it uh, maybe because I did not have nothing better but if I have to choose between these two I choose this one that's why this one frame was inside of my box I <laughs> literally tear this apart because it's not comfortable to stitch so if Catherine wants to learn how to stitch she can use this one as a practice or I can just you know maybe find out and let's see like it's foldable and you can put somewhere to store and it's stored in a cake container that's what I'm storing for and then you just tear apart in here this piece so this piece um, I keep in a, in a box because I'm not using I feel it's not comfortable so I would say don't waste your money it's very very not comfortable on the other hand this one is okay if I show you this way so you can see kind of leg it's comfortable and not bad to work with so I would say from this two pick the one that you can adjust and it's working working for me will work for you now I'm trying to look where is my lid from this one okay I don't know okay I found it okay so that was for this frame now let me set um, camera now on a table so I can sit down and show you rest the frames could be different variety different sizes different colors but they all kind of do the same uh, job and I would say this white frames uh, first frame the stitch uh, that we stitch in European town so from this side you kind of see uh, how big the square and what I did in here I had a frame like this you see it's rectangle so I took from these two frames of this size I took bigger pieces and I put them together into this square because I wanted to create frame that will take the whole design from me so it will it will fit the whole square from you know from the ground to the sky and that's why I took bigger part from one, one frame because you can match them all 
mismatch make a different sizes and shapes of your uh, frames and that's why I like them uh, sometimes it feels like it's slipping away you can just like readjust by pulling the sides in here I like barely have anything to hold on so it keeps slipping away but that's okay I still like it because I can see the whole design in here so yes uh, I create this one from two smaller uh, frames and now it work wonderful for me so this one I decided to stitch I'm not going to pull out from the back because you can see we are showing right now not cross stitch but actual frame so the same thing is here if you can take a two small size uh, sides of this one and add even some different frame uh, I think this is the one yeah two of these frames will create this smaller square I think it's a tiger yeah that's my tiger that was stitching um, yes so I like them uh, they're not bad you can tie it up your fabric in this squeaking sheet now going to be annoying but uh, bear with me um, you can have this one is a little bit different have a colorful kind of frame but also this one kind of a little bit um, and not exactly perfect square but if I want to create a bigger frame I'm just taking the size from any other frame and it will be good so this white frames you can buy two or three or all of them the stores that I re reviews of all cross stitch every store I believe have this kind of frames and you can you can mix and match them or just keep it as it is and it will be do a good job for you now the other frame that I have it's the frame this one wood one that I really like yeah? but I got them from Michael store yes it's also very wonderful frame even better if you have something to hold this frame and that is my uh, tulip design in here I like how this um, can be fit good for like a big size of the canvas so when you stitch in here you just roll this way this one unroll and you can have you know you can go like a long canvas and this um, wooden boards have like a slits in here so you put fabric between and then you let's see how it's in installation how it's work and then you just tie it up with this metal bolt that go all the way in here and it's comfortable but at the same time to stitch for me I don't have a handle to hold this one to kind of keep it for me on an angle to stitch so I have to kind of put on the edge of my table and stitch that way till I find something that will work by the way uh, silly me I show you one time in my cross stitch not long ago maybe last week hold on let me just quickly run because I just now remember this remember those clamp that I have I will bring it to you so when I was looking for some product to pick for the review came across to me this this um, clamp that I show you I was trying to use for the hoop to point to me and this kind of you clip this piece into your desk and then you just move this piece um, wherever you want so guess what I was trying to do for the hoop but I did all wrong you're supposed to use two I thought why so finally one of the store have actually picture shown how to use them so you have to use both of them yes you clip them to to the table and then this pieces let me show you there's a, one side has a little slit the other one doesn't have so you kind of you can crank it the way all the way to here okay you can um, rotate this because it's in a ball so what this does when you clip this to the table this clamp can hold the side of your frame I don't know how this thrown or not so when you tighten this 
and then the other side and then you clip the other side to hold your other side of the frame okay you just have to readjust this proper way so that way it kind of will hang on the air and you can stitch can you believe it I tried this with the frame and I think it will work it wasn't kind of holding sturdy enough but I think this will work so I will try again with you on one of the cross stitch video and I was like wow silly me I was trying to to work as it this which that's my idea was to hold it like this but it just wasn't strong enough to hold for me but from both sides it might work so that's how it was um, demonstrated on one of the website and I'm just like oh my god I feel so silly myself now by trying on a frame and did not work so there now finally I got this off my chest I was wrong so maybe this will work we'll just have to test it out with you again now where I gonna put my stuff okay we just gonna dump everything on the floor so yes this frames is amazing and I have two of them uh, cannot remember the price of them but Michael's store you know if you have a coupon you can buy a little bit cheaper but definitely it's a good see you can like keep rolling rolling as uh, as much as you want since I get a little bit more progress I was just tested out so I went from bottom to the top but if I if I will just do from the bottom and then I can just roll this fabric to the top and that way it's good so I will try with those clamp and plus this one such a beautiful you know it's 11 count Ada and easy to stitch I even have a needle still in here so I will test this again and hopefully it will work this time much better uh, now I have I have in here what I have in here um, whole bunch of whole bunch of <laughs> A whole bunch of hoops. Okay, so I have in here my cross stitch that I put in this bag that I told you. Those bags from the panel store is pretty good to kind of hide a little bit of your uh, um, canvases, whatever you want to hide. So in here I have a very tiny hoop maybe 10 by 10 I don't know maybe even smaller in here let me put this a little bit aside because this one is humongous okay and this is my flowers I believe is that the one yes the one that is the peacock picture it's a very very pretty big picture so as you can see I keep on this canvas folded because it's a uh, ridiculously long and I'm stitching on the very corner and this one I literally kind of like a fold have to stitch and then I put some clamp on the side um, and I will talk about the clamp a little bit later right now we're talking about frames so this frame and I should have as an example in here inside which is um, uh, this is just a big canvas to, for example to show you let me just show you uh, not actual canvas but the hoops uh, this is huge hoops and I'm keeping one of those like a curtain ring to hang this so it's out of my way uh, this hoop I got from my mother-in-law it was her mother's I believe and I tried to work with this hoop just once try to work on a counted cross stitch but it was just taking a very long time to cross stitch by the count and this frame was just too big for me and I put away uh, so I don't know if I could just reframe this big peacock picture maybe and do but it's later again kind of hard to store so for now I'm not using this one but it is huge and how big if I can measure I have a measuring tape in here so if in some centimeters from the inside of the hoop it's a uh, 45 centimeters on the inside that's that's big 
that's big so I'm not using right now this one and they are running away okay what can I put behind up there okay so let me show you how I store some of them I have this uh, plastic bin that whatever I don't use don't have a whip that fit I just put in here uh, some um, that my son bought it from me some I bought a whole bunch of them in like a liquidation store uh, value village when sometimes they have some kind of crustage uh, if they are looking good I would buy from there some of them very very old one that I don't even know how old they are this one uh, was also from the basket of um, my mother-in-law's her mom this is like metal rusty I'm not gonna use it but it's just like for the memory how this used to be made um, no idea yeah oh this is like a cork on the inside I never see that before that's a very very old oh cover up very old hoop you see how it's made so I guess cork it's a good idea that way fabric maybe don't slip but because it's so kind of like a looking rusty I'm not using this one and I have or oh, two one of them is a little bit bigger size kind of same this one looks a little bit more cleaner um, now there is a wooden one there is some plastic one so there is also different kind of plastic for example this okay so uh, let me show you well it's basically same thing you know it's different sizes of them this is all wood one that is a smooth on um, inside of this frames and fabric most likely will slip and you keep have to fix and fix and fix it okay so not to have a slip in fabric you need plastic one but you have to be careful this one plastic one I think this is the one that I bought in like a valley village it's different but they are kind of like a smooth surface in here and let me show you which one you have to look for so this is the plastic. Oh, I have to get up because I cannot reach it for you. Okay, you see inside that has an opening in here and that's the hoop that you have to look for. Okay, uh, inside piece will have this little uh, opening in here and this piece have a sticking out piece you see that so they go like a puzzle and pinch fabric between these two hoops and your your fabric more likely not going to slip and then, then you just tie it up as much as you want it okay so when you choose in your hoop you have to really look if they have this ridge like an opening and sticking out that one plastic is the best one when it's just a plastic smooth you will keep pulling pulling fabric and fabric will slip and slip unless if you don't want your fabric slip even if you would use for example uh, let's pick some new oh this one all stuck together yeah actually see you can buy them all in a kit like this that I didn't even open yet there just like that see they even tied up all with the ziplocks and one two three four five sizes different which is good to have if you don't have absolutely nothing but I will tell you how to fix this um, a wooden one so they doesn't doesn't slip your fabric well let's pretend which one okay this one wood one you separate them get this inside piece and grab some maybe you have like a used up uh, sheets that you don't use for your bed anymore like a very nice soft thin fabric uh, cut maybe like inch wide and just keep wrapping around all the way around and just stitch a little bit so it doesn't come out 
and then you can use this very nicely and your fabric your um, ada or any other fabric will not slip because it will kind of catch to the fa fabric then it's wrapped around it will create a little bit more thickness and i see some lady stitching like this i did not try yet but they say it's very comfortable so uh that trick i learned also from a uh, youtuber and i will try to use it now i have in here and see like some of this i have in this oh that's actually the one the kit that i show you it was the hoops and um threads whole bunch of different tools it's my son bought it for me another one that i have a whole bunch of this could be uh, hoops for stitching also there is a hoops for decorative purposes for example to frame your cross stitch and put on a wall uh, and i have some in here okay see this one is a beautiful have kind of like a handles and i bought a whole bunch of them remember i did a video of my shopping haul from uh, value village all this kind of like a plastic uh, frames they are not for stitching they are for decorating purposes and i have one um see i have some uh, uh long one they have a different shape but this one is for stitching this is wood one for stitching and this one long one just for decorative purposes uh one more okay this one is for stitching this is the same one that have the hole inside and uh ridges to to grab it together now you can find this kind that it's actually see also has a region here and this is like a rubber rope it's a kind of soft plastic to hold your design but do not stitch with it and here is why i i purchased this one in my cold store and i thought let me try to stitch with if it's comfortable or not uh first of all the fabric keeps slipping away because this piece is not um, strong enough to hold it and also this material was on top staining fabric so be careful i did not use this for a long time on the fabric and plus my stitching was a full stitch so we are not going to see a little uh, maybe of the stain whatever that was but do not stitch with them this is only when you're already done stitching and you want to frame it and then yes you can use this as a framing because nobody else going because you're going to be stitch over fabric in here close the um, back in and then you can hang on this beautiful like this uh, to put on a wall so and plus this this uh, whatever that is material it's very stinky like a rubber is stinky so yes i do not recommend to stitch with them on the other side this one is probably the same one no, yeah they all the same i don't know if this would stain fabric or not but it's the same system it's like a, a round rope plastic rope go inside of those see cavity kind of like okay so this is decorative frame and i have some canvases that i will show you that i want to measure and see if if my little frames will fit on those i don't know we will see now the clips of this clips it's good to keep it when you want to roll your fabric and hold together you can use this or even uh, around the frame uh, let me grab a little frame in here to kind of demonstrate for you uh, okay which one is the smallest one okay for, the, for example this one um, okay so let's just say you have some excess fabric that kind of like a bother you right so you just fold it whatever you want to fold it and just hold it like this okay and we'll hold it so i have this pink ones i have them and a blue one this one i purchased from dollar store uh then in a good store that i review oh it's falling apart in a store that i review you can find like this one sometimes they sell them um, by two they are also good to keep kind of your frame not very tight maybe but depends 
how much fabric you have roll this clips also can help you so this one you can uh, uh, order from some stores that I already review also you all see my um, let me just pull out this is big one that I have on my European town I always clip from both sides my fabric this is very very big and if you have a very big size of canvas like meter long then the new roller and that's how I use for my European town uh, you can buy them I think usually uh, by two they sell them they have like a little cheese in here you see to hold down kind of to your fabric so it doesn't slip but it doesn't slip it's holding like right inside in here so that's uh, comfortable if you don't have money to afford to buy clamps to kind of hold down your excess fabric I'm gonna show you something that all of you have in your house there the clamps from your clothes when you buy them at the store uh, hangers plastic hangers cut them out and you have a little clip to kind of yes it's not gonna go around your frame but if you want just to get some like a uh, you know fabric away just to clamp it like this to roll it it will work you can have them I, I just didn't cut them nicely I just chop with the pliers whatever it is because I also use them for if kids open chips to cover bag and clip for the chips you can have them in this kind you know metal kind you can have them this or transparent or like a white some of them stronger some of them less uh, also here's one of the black one so this is something also could be very very handy and even put clip to the board your um, pattern of if you doing it counted cross stitch you can use them so this is kind of like an option what you can use that you already have in your house all right so this was for the frame now let me clean up and we continue another frame that recently maybe a couple of months ago I showed you a whole bunch of these pipes uh, two of them I think it's two of this was from separate um, from different just the two pipes like which didn't make me sense because you can't really work with two pipes if you don't have uh, any other tools but if you see this a whole bunch of little tiny pieces and bits and you're supposed to build the frame from it well I did build after my video review it is so flimsy it's so bad soon as you pick it up that frame all pieces just falling apart this pipes it's not tight enough with each other and literally falling apart so when you need to build something like this with a whole bunch of pipes and you see this on the website do not order this is such a waste of time and kind of money because it's supposed to be framed with this movable like a stand with movable frame but because those pieces are so fragile it's like a pvc pipes but i mean they just not holding each other tight enough to stay sturdy you lift you move fall apart so this is definitely garbage i try to figure out how to use them maybe to wrap some kind of material inside of them to keep them strong maybe some pieces to even glue so it doesn't move anymore but for now this is like no no don't waste your money okay now let's see what else i want to show you kind of we're gonna go do like um accessories and yeah tools and accessories which we already do in this um you can find what, what i have in here on the top because it was together with those hook you can have a whole bunch of this uh wooden uh plywood kind of plywood that you can put your threads in here which they are beautiful uh i think i can get you a little bit lower to the table now let's a little bit readjust okay they they are beautiful different designs this one like a mandala it's very pretty i still did not use them i will show you what i'm using so far 
it's good like if you do um, count that cross stitch that you need to get all your stuff from scratch this is a very tiny one for this just the uh, eight colors if you have something little uh, I like to use I have in this box you can see uh, if I can move a little bit to here this is the boxes I have now three sizes of this box that I purchased from winners store and what I have in here I have only threads in here for my uh, heaven and earth design and I'm using in here this big uh, frames you can have them a smaller size as you can see I have um, already here okay like this threads all my threads in here that I need and some extras what I have uh, in this uh, folder I have uh, this kind of folder you can buy from dollar store and at the same time as I already open in here let me show you what I have in here very beautiful threads that will go combine into my design it's metallic kind of holographic shift and color threads very beautiful so this is from my head so I keep in my threads in this box because needles in here parked whole bunch of needles I don't want to poke and my actual uh, cross stitch somewhere else so I want to show you the sizes in here and I have um, there's a uh, different sizes of this this is like the the best one and I have in here look at this kind of like handy dandy little bag in here that you can travel with to go put box on the floor and in here I have if I can show you sideways maybe it will be better I like to put in here my tools and see I have in here another frame this is the good one um, yeah because one time I got one was broken no this is good one yeah this is the good one uh, you can tell there was a symbol I was using this one in one of my crustage and I changed it to this bigger one you see um, the difference on the size so now for my heaven earth design I have this big frames that will keep me all my threads what I need and this one is good for 50 I think uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 no for 30 what did I say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 yeah 13, 14, 15. Okay, so 30. This one is for 30 and this one is for 50, I believe. So, yeah, th this is a good one, big one. So, different sizes of them. I I do like them because uh, you put your... You can put your uh, mark it up symbol, numbers. Then you can park your needle into this green space and wrap around in here and put between this foam like uh, extra your threads and then when you're done you still have a needle threaded you just park in here and also put this on the side so I do like this so yes I do recommend them they are very very comfortable I like them what else I have some well this is uh, shouldn't be here because it doesn't work with what I have in here just a few extra tools what I have in here Oh, this one for uh, the water wash. So this is the pen that if you want to do the marking on a counted cross stitch, you will wash and this pen will wash it off from uh, the canvas. So that was like a big, big pack, a hundred, I think, of them or something else. Um, what I have in here. Oh, th this one is for the, I have a needle in here, it's for timber stitching, what's this, 
what is this hold on oh there oh this is the one that i um, ordered somewhere in a store with the needles but this is fancy one that was in this box with this cute little pouch it came but they did not put needles for me so that was a waste for many many years so i ordered from one of the store that i review and they do have a needle so i can try a stitch uh, fancy stitching with the sequence and beads and crystal stuff like that so i just keep it in here as well i like the kind of nice in the box look at that was a nice wax seal on it what else i have in here okay we can put this one back in here uh on this side i'm keeping them um, all the um, markers as well that i have this one is uh, water uh, i think i yeah there's the same thing different colors of oh, some fly fly come on really a front camera you really have to fly like that uh, so i have a uh, marking pens for um, counted cross stitch okay we're gonna kill it or what now i have a tweezers in here uh what's in here or oh, some uh this one pen i have this one is a heat use so when you mark in it when you're using um counted cross stitch and you mark it up on your paper when you iron later that paper all the marking will be gone and you will have a same new pattern if you want to pass it to somebody else to stitch so this is heat erase markers and this is just the regular highlighters and i have one of this good snapper you can cut the threads with it and also one heart of magnet in here i have now what do i have on the inside on the inside i believe i have design that i'm stitching it will be counted cross stitch but it's a it's a good and comfortable organizer see they have like a uh, packet in here that you can put something in here and in here and it's gonna like overlap and hug and cover i have my stitch in here that i'm using and i do have a magnet in here um some special metallic i have in here that i ordered from amazon but i did order a wrong wrong kind this one i got thicker so we'll use them sometime oh the one little hook in here and i have one more in here yeah that's the one that came to me two packs is broken in here so i can use this for like a less colors so i didn't throw away because it is usable it can be used so this organizer is like this it's very nice i have a here velcro you can tie it together so nothing fall out in here if you want to put some magazine maybe uh, i have to say that this organizer is it's comfy to go for example if i would go camping in the summer right it's comfy to just grab it as as it is i like it so i do recommend this one if you're looking forward to order something like that um okay so we have to put this away later now let's take a break Whew. let's take a break from tools and accessories and i will show you something that i already have in this bin let's take a break i was gonna do this in a separate video but why wait okay let's see what i have in this bin i have in here canvases that i'm already done i stitched them some this year some uh, earlier uh and i don't think that's all in here because some of them waiting probably for the back stitching i don't know uh this one i already stitched the you know the pony so i have leftovers of the beads in here uh just for in case okay there's some more stuff in here so let me show you slowly i will pull out from this bin and just 
show you little by little. See, I wrap around with the paper towel just to keep it extra clean. I put uh, <laughs> the foam on the inside just to keep a shape of the roll so it doesn't squish too much. So what I have, let me, let me, hold on, hold on, let me just unroll it. Okay, this one is, was my like a first one when I came to Canada. This was printed canvas. That was before I even have Catherine. I was stitching this little girl. Now I'm looking on her from the camera view. Looks really, really nice. So when I was stitching this one, I was dreaming one day to have a little girl in my family. I have in here French knots. I have in here some backstitch. Uh, not too many. So this was my first stitching. And back then, when I was uh, stitching this ink, I was like, um, Cannot can Damar designs ink. So this one is not washable. This stays printed like this. That's how uh, used to be, I guess, stitching was. So I didn't really worry about my backing in here. Okay, that was that was okay. Okay, so this is little girl. Um, I will do maybe by the sizes. This is small one. This one, the one that I okay. Let me do this one that I finished last year. I finished this last year. My golden retriever puppies with the this awesome truck that I love so much. My goldies, and this is the canvas that I did two tutorials video of backing back stitching of layering back stitching and just like a counted back stitching i really 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 love how this look like so yes it's not uh, not framed can you imagine where would i put all the frames i don't know so it's just gonna stay actually i'm going to se separate this noise i washed already okay should be all right to put on the top of this one okay this one and then this year no well not this year actually 2022 i finished this one when war started in ukraine i i wanted to stitch this so badly quick in a wish that war would stop but now it's already you know 11th month and it's still going strong so this is a ukrainian design on a pattern you have a word but on a canvas wasn't printed word so i changed the wording and put my ukrainian here I just make my own wording in here so yeah that's a beautiful canvas very nice I stitched this one pretty quick, I would say. And then my stitching was a Halloween design that I finished before Halloween, I believe. That's my sampler. Lots and lots of back stitching in here. But I think looks looks beautiful. Right? And this one design that I stitched maybe two years ago, even more. I don't know, two or three cute little puppies, very soft uh, canvas, like 11 count, maybe even bigger count, I don't know, but super, super soft canvas, but they are cute, so that's my kind of little roll. This one I stitched long time ago, but did not do back stitching. As you can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous even without back stitching. But I do need to do back stitching. And now I remember that I have another canvas, the winter one that I don't have a back stitching yet. But it's not in this pile, so we are not going to see that. 
uh, now what else I stitch let me show you that I stitch in 22 I have I have beaded stitching okay I have this uh, kitty cat that bead stitched beads not very even in here but still came out very nice and colorful I think it's nice it's awesome I do keep them from cross stitch and kind of like in a bag because I don't know if beads will leak color or not even I did wash them obviously but I still kind of afraid and here is my pony I stitch pony I think first oh no I stitch cat first then pony or other way I don't remember but this one pony has much more beads to stitch okay yeah my pretty pony what else i have in here oh i have in here uh, i even have my uh, envelope and with the threads yet uh, my sampler i have my sampler in here the winter sampler that I finished, I started at the campground. And talking about sampler, uh, I will talk about the other thing as well. I do have in here, I brought with me, okay, I'm thinking, since I already have a winter, I brought with me a spring. And I think I will start spring. So maybe before spring and kind of start before spring and work uh, slowly. Maybe I will finish in the springtime so then I can start in the summer. Because I do want to create all four uh, seasons. I thought I brought in here all of them. Didn't I? No. I put away I guess. I don't know. I thought I have all of them. Oh no, I do have. I do have. Let me show you. Let me show you. I have in here. That's another thing. How you can store your cross stitch. Uh, this is just a package from some kind of bed in sheets, uh, pillowcases. And I like to keep this to store some cross stitch in here. So here it is. This, uh, I brought just to show you. Okay. See, I have in here, this is autumn and summer, which would be nice to stitch at the campground. And then the spring and the winter. So I want to have them all and uh, kind of same, but the Halloween was a little bit bigger one. So I already created. But this is the uh, sampler that I think I want to start this year because I do not start any crustage yet this year, so why not to start? Why not to start, right? Okay, so this one will be in my starts. Okay, we'll put this away. Then I stitch... How many? Two of this little tiny one. Uh, I thought I have it more than two. Did I stitch just two? Not three. I thought I have three. Maybe I don't. Okay, never mind. So I stitched. This is the tiny one. And that's what I wanted to see. If my frames that I have in here. These little frames. If I would. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Kind of would be. With on this one it will be visible too much do i have a smaller one the smaller one is a white one smaller one this one is a little bit too small okay so doesn't work exactly for this size if this would be um, um maybe like not an ada but an uh, 
different fabric may be okay with, this, with those other frames i'm not sure but for now so i have in this one very very cute puppy it was fun to do this is actually christmas ornaments to create for but also you can fray them so um i might well just create ornaments from them uh, and this is the teddy bear not a teddy bear but bear so i thought i have in here another guy which is a rabbit and we have a rabbit year this year 23 so yes the christmas kind of gone and new year started and he should be like he celebrated the new year but we can pretend he celebrated his year right so i will start him to work on it and <laughs> i will have another one that's exactly the same uh, size some threads in here very similar to each other and i will be working on this uh, rabbit when I finish these designs and I have leftovers of the threads, whatever I have in this kind of design, because I have many of them, I put my threads, whatever leftovers to the to the designs that I still have to stitch. So kind of, and whatever did not have match, just uh, keep them, uh, I guess, on original packaging that they have. So this is little cutie, cutie, cutie that I will be starting this as well. So now we have uh, in my starts to start sp spring and rabbit. All right. Uh, what else I stitched this year? It's this uh, four mushrooms on plastic canvas. In 2022, I have some even uh, left threads in here and I do love this mushrooms did not do with them nothing yet I'm not sure if I this is supposed to like you can create with the magnets but I don't want a magnets I don't know uh, maybe I'm just going to keep them like this as a flip cards I don't know plus I'm gonna show you some surprise very shortly um, not sure not today uh, some other day I'm waiting something that I have to keep this design close enough not to put away So they are stitched on a plastic canvas and have lots of uh, back stitching. That's what create beautiful lovely collection Okay, what else we have in here? Uh, this one that I was stitching I was stitching this little tiny daisy this is also plastic canvas this one already stitched and cut it out uh, and I just did not decide what to do with it to create this to the magnet or not because I have to cover back in but I don't know yet if I want to uh, like this you're supposed to stitch together and make this as a charm or you can create two magnets from it so I'm still thinking what to do with them that's why kind of sitting in here yeah wasting my organizers in here all right let me check the battery and we will continue one more cute little design that I really really want to start this year this is cute little ladybug she's cracking me up she's like sneaky she's looking for some trouble and I love her so much that I have to wait a whole month till they get back her in stock. And I got it. This is actually from Paint Some Way. And I'm so happy to have her. It's a not very big canvas if I can show. No, you know, I will show you when I will start. So, uh, what do you think? I think we will have fun to stitch her. Now, one more thing that actually somebody was mentioned when I will do this, and I already have this in my mind. Yes, we will create this cute little bug. Some of you already ordered and made it. I did not have a chance to work on them yet. It's the bumblebee with the beads and a ladybug. As you can see, I love ladybugs and this one winter winter ornaments i totally forgot about this one 
uh, we will create them sometime close to winter time next year well not next year this year or if I have a time I will start sooner mm, yeah we'll see on the timing this is kind of little projects uh, but you know I, I, I like to do this kind of stuff and once again as a storage I'm using from the bed sheets little organizer I see where is everything and uh, I like that so it's comfortable it's comfortable uh, next I want to show you uh, tools and accessories this video definitely will be longer than I thought this kind of organizer you can buy I believe is a dollar store I think it's from dollar store uh, not a dollar my dollar store is gonna be like probably four dollars but you can put a whole bunch of your accessories in here then you have an opening up there what I have in here some extra cutters blades some needles mm, some pins oh this is the empty this is empty because I was holding here my um, uh, pins that I made but I forgot I already I already put them in here oh no this was different one where are they somewhere oh I put them in here this is the one that has like um let me open each side of this organizer you can open and have a two a little clip on each side and I have my pins in here this pins see it's like I have a crystal on the end and they was kind of designed to create artificial like centers for the flowers to the creative pieces but uh, you can use them as a pin when using in plastic or I don't know whatever you wish uh, and I have lots I have some inside the threads some of the accessories uh, threaders some of them still empty and yeah I have some of this carousel in here of those pins so I will put this on the inside as well and this one I don't need this one my handmade pins was in here this one pretty that I made so I don't need a box now I don't know why I keep one of them that's just collecting the garbage call okay so this carousel also kind of good for the little tools and accessories you can buy it at the store I believe uh, what I have in here that I recommend for you to get it from the stores that I review I have a two packs of this silky and gorgeous threads they are two different kind bigger pack a smaller pack and they are absolutely gorgeous I'm just going to open one for now Look at this metallic thread, so, so pretty. There's something special to stitch little tiny details. Uh, it's just gorgeous. And this one, uh, that's what I was uh, reviewing. I thought it's exactly the same color, just a smaller version. But no, they do have a, uh, different colors in here. So like some orange that this one doesn't have, some bright pink. Love, love, love this thread. They are so good so definitely go to the store and order store that i review every cross stitch no not every store have them um maybe now they do i don't know just uh, just check where you see cross stitch go to the tools and accessories and this video i see will be probably from two parts at least it will be a little bit 
long. Then I have in here the stress, the kind of like a metallic. I already did review on that. Uh, I was afraid to run out by stitching there my angel. And now I know for sure that I can stitch as much as I want. It's showing kind of greenish on the camera, but it's a beautiful uh, gold color. And the same one, I have silver one. I did test them out. They are not fading colors after wash. Very strong to stitch without. They actually designed them to embroider in a machine. So I have two of this, two of this, and this one something I got, I think, from one of the stores. This one is metallic. From a junkie store that I was treasure hunting to create them. It's like a bracelets, but I will use them for stitching sometime. And same thing, this one, big one that I got from uh, Valley Village, I think. Look at this, they kind of cut thin, but look how many in here. That's a huge, huge uh, lot. I don't know, I have to try to stitch, see if it's comfortable to stitch. Uh, I will actually wash to test it out if they fade in or not. So I'm just keeping them on a regular plastic bin just like that. And now I will show you more threads because somebody asked me how I store my threads, what I do with them. You will be shocked to see my organizer. Look at this. <laughs> Are you hungry yet? Look at this chicken. Oh, this is so good, huh? So I we got this one. It's like a frozen um, meat. And this box was so nice and neat. So I decided why not to use it from my leftovers, from my uh, threads that I, some of them I did kind of like uh, tear apart my kits that wasn't good enough well all i need to do is to put in here cover nice paper and that's it but that's what i'm saying you can use shoe boxes if you don't have nothing fancy grab a shoe box and i do have some shoe box that i keep in there, like a diamonds for example for a diamond painting uh just cover with the like a, a sticky table that people using for counter uh, you know, like for inside under counter shelving cover that one or like a decorative paper. So I will be covered this. I just need to do well. Why not to do like DIY together with you and cover. So what I have in here, I tear apart some of those uh, designs that wasn't good enough. And I put them in a Ziploc bags from diamond paintings, those trays, green trays, those kits that I was receiving with every diamond painting. So I put like from the numbers up and up and up. And I have all this DMC code right down on them. So now if I run out of something, I'm just going to go to this uh, box and see if I have those threads in here. And this one that I empty, I just did not throw them away, just in case I will need some time for some different organization. I don't know. So I'm keeping them. So I'm having them in this fancy, super fancy box. Okay. Then I have another big, big plastic bin. Big plastic bin from Walmart or... Even Costco, you can go and buy. It's like a six bin at one. No, that's not the one. I don't know where I bought this. It's probably Walmart. So what I have in here, I have in here a whole bunch of threads. There was from different kits. I just put look at the, all the white color because obviously it wouldn't fit. They can like a nice braid that it wouldn't fit to my the other one box from that chicken thing. So I'm just keeping them like this and some of those designs in here that I put them away. It is not possible. I tear apart all the counted cross stitch that came with this pattern because pattern are so super super tiny that I'm not going to fight with them. I tear them apart. So that's what it is, all those light threads in here. And then I have in here that uh, CM 
Remember this design? If you see it, do not order. I started stitch, I stitch a whole bunch of this corner to to see even some flowers. I stitch a good chunk, you can find the video on my channel. It was nothing to the colors that picture supposed to be. So I tear apart, I wash canvas and decided no, that canvas is bad. If you find it in Joy Sunday, for example, yes, you can stitch, but this one, like those no brand names, something like this one that I tear apart. And I have lots of threads in here. And uh, this is from some leftover stitching. This one pack that I have in here, beautiful colors, but it was sent with wrong canvas, it did not match. Uh, remember one time I received wolves, I think like a family of wolves or horses and the uh, threads was different. So they mixed up threads and a canvas. So I do not know to which canvas belong these threads, but they are gorgeous, beautiful, but I don't know to which picture. So it's just going to be for some extras and I have a whole bunch of this. You know, some of them DMC, some of them just no name. Um, this They have a name in here, but I don't know if they actually match DMC codes or not. Even they have a DMC number on it. So this is just a whole bunch of threads that I have leftovers. And I keep them right in a plastic bin. In here, they fit okay. Keep them somewhere in a closet high so it doesn't bother me to anything not on my way something far far you know on a shelving and that's what I keep my leftovers that I have also I have in here some threads that I collected for a long time this kind of containers you see them okay okay so this one you can buy at Walmart, I believe, or even Michaels. This is just like a one layer thread. And mostly in here threads was just like a few fancy one anchor in here. But the rest of I bought thread years ago from dollar store. They were sell them like on a longer palette, all kind of wind up like that. But they didn't have a DMC code. So I kind of organized them <laughs> by the colors like this, by the shades. But I don't know what the DMC code. So I might will have to sometimes match up. I have a book, but uh, I don't know. For now, it's kind of like a satisfying in here. I have this layer. Uh, that's a good containers for this little bobbins when you want to roll your threads and also this one is like a heavy duty double sided because you have one side in here oh that's what I say from dollar store see how they were roll but they were like a, on a one big uh, panel like this I just cut them because I want them to fit inside in here and some of them I wrap on this kind of, you know, I, I wrap them around on this bobbins like that. So I have them in here and then when you flip on the other side you have another compartment and here I keep some of my like metallic and gold threads. Uh, some silver, some multicolorful. Uh, this one, I believe, maybe from dollar. Mm, no, this this one for sure for dollars from dollar store. This one I cannot remember. This one maybe I have from where? Maybe from some of the stores that I order, like not order, but I have. Um, like a liquidation store maybe got sometimes I can't remember now also in here I have some plastic bobbins in here a whole bunch of them in a paper one in here and then look at this this one I have this like from 
my mother-in-law her mom basket with the stitches stuff so this is like a looks like a very very fancy threads silver and gold very old one 130 no 150 50 years Elma I don't know do you know this company okay threads are beautiful in here and all this one like a metallic one all this colorful they are from dollar store I don't even know if they are strong to stitch or not maybe to like pretend it's a some kind of like a snowflakes or snow and this too is beautiful this one I think I got it from um, like a liquidation store it's a pretty metallic color okay. so that's what I have in here it's like a multicolor a little bit of organizing in here and this one have a nice hand also that's that's a good very bulky but it's good if you have a whole bunch of like this uh, also I have some like a, a regular threads for the sewing machine uh, I even keep them before in like in chocolate boxes I don't remember if I switched them already or not or they still up there actually uh, comment if you want me to show you um, like yarn knitting crochet that kind of stuff we can create another video of that okay so we're going to put those threads aside in here and now I will show you like what I've been working uh, let's say first uh, I did not have like a when I didn't have containers from long time I was using this that you can see it there's a hole in here and hole in here this is actually was for the uh, wood burning tool with the different tips like an iron thing to burn on a wood uh, so I pull out there and I was using here for the stitching supplies you know I have in here pen uh, water er erase uh, heat er erase because I was using this one for the um, counted cross stitch of the spring uh, I have in here this oh, just don't know I can oh hold on like this I just cannot find a comfortable this I saw a very very pretty one I can't remember if I ordered or not because I know it's not comfortable to stitch unless the other one would be better one no I don't think I ordered like a, a shift in color like I have um, uh, this tool in a color like 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 this one color okay that's so pretty okay this one magnet um, I don't know where I got this tiny magnet, but this is from dollar store, like a knob for the door, whatever you can find it. I'm just take this one. Sometimes I put my needle in here, just like that. Uh, here's my wax fish that I did melted myself. So this one is just a you know a little tool case from. The tools are burning wood, like a pli plier, no, not plier, how you call it, the iron, whatever that is. This one is from fishing accessories. You, you buy this kind of stuff to do uh, fishing accessories. So what I have in here, another uh, thing for stitching. But this one is very, very pretty color, shift and color like that. All the thing that I also not comfortable for me to work with a couple of those tiny tiny clips if I have to use it on uh, another side or oh, this one actually for the sewing machine thread or something like that so I just order something that is on on this side I have a couple of magnets and this little sleeves that is really really comfortable if my thumb sore I'm just wearing it and the comfort you know sometimes when you stitch a lot and you try to keep rubbing 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 just put on any finger to kind of protect so you don't get the blisters later 
it's very comfortable these little sleeves i'm so happy i have them okay so this is from fishing go to your husband check on his fishing tools you might find something that you can use for cross stitch <laughs> So yeah, this is the my drawer that I have next to me of uh, cross stitch, and uh, yeah, so this is the one that uh, you can buy in one of the stores that I review, uh, wooden base for your pins, and um, they have in different shapes. This one's shaped like a pumpkin. See that? Nice and flat on the other side. Okay. Uh, in here that I really like. All this uh, kind of lipstick looking needle holders, I really, really love them. They are super awesome. One gog uh, designer, kind of picture on them. Super, super awesome. They like a, a snap magnet, You're not gonna lose your uh, lid. And then, oh, of course I have to pick the one that's empty. Um, oh. Pushing each other because the magnetic. So when you pull it, you can have your needles. I have a whole bunch of different sizes of needles in each of them. Love this design, very comfy. This scissors, if you can find, this one is from Dollar Store. Not just for stitching, for sewing, anything. Cut even your hair, so sharp. It's very heavy, kind of harder a little bit to open. But my goodness, they are so sharp. I love them. and it's comfortable to stitch because of the angle I mean stitch cut of the angle so it's like hold it when I was gift wrapping it's like shh and don't even have to chop it go like a razor uh, then I have in here this one is from lipstick I already showed you that I keep my extra fingers in here to not to poke with the needle uh, ruler we all need a ruler that's the company when I got this from um, this one more of the um, for the threads accessory to put your threads I did not use this one yet this one is a uh, acrylic one very nice one and 36 colors you can switch from paper one to this one so I like the design kind of design kind of similarity to this kind of stuff um, then of course this one is my very used one I use this one little container for absolutely everything for my every um, cross stitch that I do I have here wax one of those finger protection one of those black one that I just try on the blue one uh, magnet two different kind of threaders and scissors sometimes i just switch scissors and this one was a container from one of the beads that i've received with the beads and then you have idea i showed you before for example uh, this gift card tint that you can keep them for uh, magnets because magnets stick very well to them and talking about the tin containers let me put this aside just a little bit and show you and show you what you can do remember that before Christmas or Easter any holiday you can buy at the store this tin the cookie inside and I have <laughs> so many of them because I, I like them they are so cute so if we open one because it's a tin so obviously your magnet will stick to it. That's all you need. You can have just a, uh, if you collect the magnets or to have a magnet in each of your cross stitch kits, if you have a whole bunch of whips, you just put them in here and that's it. You have an organizer. Look at that, I'm just gonna show it to you. They are so cute. They were a cookie. This one was for Easter cookie. Here is the Christmas one. Look at that. this one, like it's so shiny, so pretty. Uh, this one is a Christmas too, very pretty. I can use this one for each. Let me just show you because I love them. Here is the for Valentine. You can use, here is another Valentine. Oh, I do have a, a, a rose canvas that I'm stitching. I can put all my accessories 
needles magnets a pair of scissors and just keep this with that particular kit that's what i'm saying so i don't have to use uh, anything like else look at the santa a bambi deer oh here it is they are so partying i have ginger no it's a candy house whatever uh, yeah i do have two of this one and one more easter there see they are cute and they can create for you a perfect magnet and tool organizer for your cross dish because they are tanned all magnets will stick to it even i was trying to see this was like a magnet calendar here was a picture so i just wash it out under the sink so if I would put, for example, um, well, let's say square one, right? If I would, okay, how would they do? Okay, let's say any of this magnet, if you can just put, uh, just cut it out, make a shape, proper shape, and then you put your needle, needle will stick, okay, will go nowhere. So yes, of course, needle itself not gonna stick, you need a magnet. So this little tiny sheets, will stick and hold there so that's another idea for you for cheap how to make your own organizer so that's why i kind of this would be good like for a gift card you just need a trim a tiny bit and it's perfect to hold all different kinds size of needles okay so that's the idea for you how to use it okay Okay, I have to rearrange in here those magnets. Okay, let's put it away. This video is going to be extremely long. So definitely, probably we will be doing a two videos, not one. Okay, so that was the idea for that. Um, and talking about magnets, if you want heavy duty magnets, see, I have in here two magnets from IKEA. Oh, look at the pushing each other look at that oh magic i just show you magic you want a magic watch without touching it uh-huh so this one is really strong you can slap your heavy duty scissors i oh, just keep sticking together okay uh i bought this so i can put in here my pliers for beading supplies and also big scissors the only thing I did not mount on them yet into my working space because I'm afraid my people gonna touch my scissors and you know how crafters we don't like when men touching our scissors and then try to cut wires or something else because we have a scissors for paper, for the ribbons, for the fabric, for different things. We, we know what scissors for, right? <laughs> Don't ruin my good scissors. Some lady put even black on a scissors so men cannot use it. Anyway, uh, this is a great strong magnet even for the kitchen to hold your knives. But I'm thinking when I put, I will put my like a heavy duty scissors and pliers. So that's why I bought it two of them. I love this from IKEA just so you know where to order or uh, if you have a store near you uh, you already saw my magnets this is not strong enough for, for stitching i thought it would be but that's like uh, ukrainian designs in here and they are not strong enough okay like this because it's not big enough magnet and this is ceramic so not very much I can feel a magnet from ceramics so this is for now just the decorative pieces to look for me uh, the scissors this one scissors is from dollar store and this one scissors from the stores that I review you can see the quality and the size does matter and then I have In here um, this one you can find in different uh, colors also you can find them in a dollar store if you have a blister maybe on your finger you stitch and it's hurt it's just kind of like a stretchy and sticky you just 
stretch it, uh, wrap around your finger, just don't stretch it too much because it's gonna not give your blood circulate and it's, see it's, it's, it's sticking, it will stay on your finger, so this is something to also protect if you keep poking yourself with the needle, you don't have nothing to use. Uh, and this is my diamond painting container that I show you, I have my tools in here, I have in here my couple of different more magnets, those teardrops and the uh, shells, some of them already with the, um, um, what is my other, there's some other that I have a cross stitching tools and my scissors, I love this scissors, they are very very good quality so definitely I do recommend all the scissors. Now this scissors the same as I was just showing you white one. Um, they are very nice but uh, is this one a little bit thicker from the colorful one? Let me see. Oh yeah, much different. That's why I didn't see this before. Because they are like absolutely same, it's just the one very beautiful color but this uh, colorful is much thinner tips than this white one but if you want a very very thin go after this one this one is like extremely thin i have a uh, two of them of different color but they are it's just like very very super pointy super sharp so you can get very close to whatever you need and this one is just a looks like a pure silver and copper look at this so gorgeous design very very gorgeous heavy but also very sharp very sharp so all the scissors are amazing if you have a chance to order go ahead and I do wait in for a couple more scissors to review because I saw that uh, one of the store have a new type of scissors so I want to check them out and see if they are any good or not so I'm just going to put the scissors now here to switch to the colorful one because I'm already bored the white one I have to switch it uh, now where is my other tools? I know I had uh, more tools. Where did I put them? Did I switch them? No, it's not in here. Okay, never mind. I found a tool that I wanted to show you quickly. That's another diamond painting case that I created. And I have in here also different kind of needles and different tools. But what I want to show you, it's this tool. Uh, I do recommend for you to get this one. Here is why. Uh, I got one, I think this one. Yeah, I think this one I got from Michaels. And this too from one of the stores that I uh, review. And I have to say, this is a good tool. Or maybe this one from Michaels. I don't remember now which one. Um, this is the blade that inside in here of the circle you can see it's shining so with this tool is good to cut your uh, thread when you underneath your frame when you stitch and stitch in and then you have to cut thread on the other side and you don't want to flip your frame that's the good like a blind sided to cut because you're not going to damage anything else with scissors you can cut your fabric you can cut extra threads with this one you will cut only thread that you need so this is kind of like a safety uh, cutter for your threads and that's what actually I just wanted and I look for it that it's good to have now I think it's all so yeah this is uh, stays next to my desk where I stitch and record and everything do so I just put in here, it's like a three drawers or four drawers, um, this organizer kind of stuff. And I will put my, okay, I have to refold it later. Fit a whole bunch of stuff in here. 
Okay, so th this is like a good idea for these magnets. All right, now what else left? Oh my goodness, my neck already. I'm already sore from recording so much. Okay, let me put this aside and we are going to quickly see something else. For example, if you see this kind of organizers, this foldable. We are too close, huh? This little bags is like a waterproof. Oh, here is the canvas that I told you about. That it's kind of, kind of finished. That I sh well, this one, it's finished already. I just need to do backstitch. There, found it. Found it. It's it's still not in my pile. The finishes because of the backstitching. But what I'm saying, I want to say about this bags. They are very good. If you have like a big big projects it's uh, nice to keep them in here you can tie this up or just like you know hang somewhere on a wall and they fit a good size of the canvas in here i even have a paper fit in here so yes i need to do the back stitching so yeah i like this organizer they look kind of like a plasticky but that's what it's called waterproof and i like to store my huge long canvases in them like for example when i have in here See how I roll it and I keep in here two, I think, two or three. There, see how I roll them. Two canvases, they are long and I stitch them without frame. So I just put like this. So this is very comfy. I like this one. Now, what else you can use to organize your cross stitch? is you go to a dollar store and buy a whole bunch of this kind like for kids. To, you, to keep them for school paper, whatever it is. Uh, I like them, they are a ziplock, I mean zipper, and you can put your um, cross stitch in it. That's another idea for you. For your tools, you can use uh, any like a school, this one probably for the pencil or maybe for the makeup. No, I think it's done for um, kids to use for the pencils. What I'm thinking about this one, look how cute, this whole bunch of teddy bears. I do have a two canvases with the teddy bears, cross stitch canvases. Maybe you remember my unboxing. Even I have even back in uh, fabric for them if I wanna create something like a pillow instead of just a framing. Uh, so when I will work with that canvas, I will use this one. I will put my scissors, my magnet and like a wax. This is going to be my tool for that particular canvas because it's cute now another idea i have to store i have this look at this one it's like okay i have to raise my camera because it's not tall enough let's see how much we can raise um okay so i have two of them okay i have two of them two of them look at this two of those accordion for the documents for the papers if um, you work in like an office right you would put in here so i have two of them and what i do i put in here my cross stitch kits that are tiny one see that it's like for example um those like a bookmarks this little tiny one um more bookmarks okay uh, i have in here those uh, beaded uh, canvases so i'm kind of uh, putting in here something that is tiny or oh, here on the very very back i have more bookmarks but this is like a bigger packaging in here so it's kind of you put a whole bunch in here fit a lot you just lock it pick it up and go away <laughs> and then i have this big one this one i fill up already uh full 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 this one a little bit different this one have a lock like you have to push a lock like those old fashioned briefcases you know and look at this each of the section is a cross stitch uh some of the cross stitch in here that this one for example there's a book in here, magazine with some cross stitch. Uh, some of this design that is uh, counted. Yeah, mostly in here the counted designs from Wizardy that I have. Um, and then 
whole bunch that go like a smaller and smaller and smaller and I have full accordion in here all the way to the end this one is completely full I don't know how many designs in here if you want to see all of them one day like a, another collection of tiny cross stitch 3d project I don't know whatever so I have this two accordions in here and that's where I store my tiny cross stitch so I don't lose them now another way that is very comfortable to um, uh, store let me see. okay I have a last piece to show you I promise I don't think I have anything else look at this this one is from comforter that's what I'm saying it's very very comfy <laughs> to have extra storage just like that from comforter so let me open and I will show you here I put in here this is what I'm talking about if you have a school people kids who use them this kind of books and they want to have every year something new right grab their old one these books and this is your perfect organizer for cross stitch this is my European town you all know I have this work I put my papers in here and I cut those palettes in half and look I put all my palettes in here I braid them and they are very nice and cozy sits in here and there organizer okay if you did not see that before you have to hang out with us on Wednesday cross stitch Wednesday every Wednesday we have a cross stitch and always some kind of tips and tricks happening very often so this is one of the design that I wanted to show you how I store uh, my Stitch. so in here I just want to show you what I have in here this is most like a fabric thing that I have now if you see this design do not order it's horrible this is actually my roses from my garden that I did diamond painting and then they decided some other store without permission they just created cross stitch without even talking to me so one time I was looking through the website all of a sudden I see my roses what cross stitch when that happened so when I ordered just for curiosity to see if it's good or not it was bad it was not enough colors so I just looked patterning it was horrible I tear apart I think I even washed canvas so maybe it's not washed yet but it was bad 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 so oh this is the canvas from those bouquet flowers that I told you I washed it because it was bad um, what else I have in here this for the um, large hook fabric I, I bought this in uh, Michaels in Michaels and then all this uh, thread that I showed you before see I that was uh, counted cross stitch I tear them apart all and maybe one day I can use this uh, fabric for something else and then just in here I have kind of like a different kind of fabric different count that's how I store this one I bought as a decorative pieces um, from Canadian Tire um, kind of like to decorate for Christmas but what I thought I thought I would be able to stitch on something I don't know if the stitches would be even or not maybe on this fabric to count like an even count I don't know if this would work or not but that's the purpose I actually bought this ribbons to try to see if I can work on it and in here I just have a different kind of um, egg um, this one I got also from um, um, see like a gold and different kind from value village there's like brand new in a packaging some of them I order from not order but it from uh, Michael's this one definitely from Michael's probably 18 count then I have some even count oh, this one definitely from uh, discount code uh, I mean from the some of those cheap stores that I like to go for a treasure hunt see that's cost me two dollars for the even count 28 Monaco 28 count okay some also this one is from michael's i cut piece in here because i was doing something crazy didn't 
didn't know back then that this is uh, it's actually too expensive to waste on something ridiculous so yes more even count even count uh, this one also from one of those stores two dollars cost me and then this one also look at the pink one uh, even count looks like 100% cotton yeah and this one mesh I, I bought it and I thought okay, maybe something interesting would be interesting to stitch on it it's not for stitching it's more like to make and see like DIY but there is always idea so this is kind of like and what's on the bottom in here some envelope I have in here a uh, plastic canvas and uh, some of the design that I shredded to pieces oh this one also was very bad so I'm just still keeping this one but it's already not exist this kit I tear apart I don't know why I keep this one so there this is my stuff that now I have to put away what a mess I created but I hope you had fun <laughs> I hope you have fun if I forgot something there's always other time I love you all and I will see you tomorrow.